Substitution nucleophilic by molecular, the SN2 reaction. Molecules are in constant motion and are surrounded by a solvent. However, let's remove the solvent to simplify the animation. The nucleophile and the electrophile will bump into each other, but because of electron repulsion and incorrect orbital mixing, they will bounce off of each other without a reaction occurring. Notice at the bottom of the potential energy reaction coordinate diagram, as the molecules approach each other, their potential energy increases because of electron repulsion and because the nucleophile is not correctly aligned with an orbital that will accept its electrons. There is an orbital at the backside of the carbon leaving group sigma bond that will accept the electrons from the nucleophile. And as the bond forms, the alkyl groups are pushed backwards. At the same time, the carbon leaving group sigma bond starts to break. At the top of the energy barrier, the molecules are transitioning from reactants to products. At this point, the molecule could come apart and reform the reactants, or fall down to the other side and produce the products. As the reaction proceeds, a new carbon nucleophile bond is formed, and the carbon leaving group sigma bond breaks to form the more stable, less reactive products. Notice that in this one step concerted reaction, inversion occurs at the carbon atom. The alkyl groups have been pushed to the other side of the carbon atom. However, even if the nucleophile and the electrophile are aligned correctly, they may not have enough kinetic energy for the reaction to occur. There actually is only a small fraction of the molecules in the solution that have enough kinetic energy to surmount the energy barrier to form products. This is why many reactions are heated and are allowed to react for longer periods of times. Reactions with lower energy barriers or smaller activation energies will react faster in shorter periods of time and at lower temperatures.